Hi everyone, I'm Maya and you're watching LDD TV. Here I have the Jujube BFF diaper bag and I'm going to do a versus video and put the stuff into the BFF so you guys can see the difference in the capacity. So to begin, we've got the two side pockets here. They have water bottles in them. These are standard size water bottles. In the back here I have a book. And I also have the padded changing pad that comes with the BFF. I'm going to leave that in here because the B-Hip already comes with a changing pad as well. In the mommy pocket, we've got a bunch of items here. We've got a burp cloth as well as a bib, an angel deer stick rattle, and the jujube B major. In the pocket up here, I have a Callum Compass of our pouch. And now for the main compartment, uh, just to fill up the void, I have four diapers here, size one to two. I've got some snack bags, seven inches by seven inches. This one is by Itsy Ritzy. We've got the two minis by Bumpkins. I've got the other one here. There we go. And then we have the other Bumpkins one. In the previous videos, I, I mentioned it's seven by seven. It's actually seven by six inches. And now we have the Sugar Snap diaper bag filing system here. And I wanted to just show you guys how perfectly it matches with the Jungle Maze print. So if anybody has the Jungle Maze print and you guys want to get the Sugar Snap diaper bag filing system, get it in the uh, orange, uh, orange green one. It works so well with this print. You can just see how beautiful that looks. So I was able to fit the entire um, diaper bag filing system in here. We've got all five pieces. There we have it. And now in these five pieces, I'm going to quickly go over it in the small one here. We have two hair products as well as toothpaste. There is room, a lot of room for more items. In the personal items one, we have uh, deodorant, hair accessories, sanitizer, etc. and some personal items. In this one, we have 10 diapers size 1 to 2. In this one, I've got a Pretty Pushers delivery gown. Check out the video on this so you can see what size it is. It's a one size fits most. Uh, I had it on my body, so it's a pretty nice, uh, decent size item, just so you can understand the capacity wise uh, as far as how much this would fit. And then we've got the three blankets here. Two of them are 14 inches by 14 inches. This one is 26 by 26. They're both, uh, all three of them are double layered. And now let's put it into the V hip. Move some stuff over. Got a bunch of items there. All right, I'll start with the book. Let's just put that in. And we've got the changing pad here as well. And let's see what we can do with the bag. We'll start out with the sugar snap diaper bag filing system. Because these are our main. Uh, room taker uppers. Let's look for this one. Alright, so this is number two. Then let's do number three. This is pretty thick. I think I might be able to fit number four. No, we'll do number four and five on the side. I'm just going to organize it a bit here. That's number four. And it's a little, it's getting a little tight in there. Um, I'm not going to push it with number five. I might be able to fit number five on the top. Let's do the snack bags. So we've got one, two snack bags here. push that a little further down. Now, as usual, I'm reminding you, it all depends on how you pack your bag. Uh, some people like to stuff their bags, some people don't. Um, obviously, I'm stuffing it just so you guys can see, uh, for the most part, the maximum capacity. What we'll do here, we can put this up top here. We'll add some diapers. These are the four diapers, size one to two. And I think we're good. There, it seems like there is still a little bit more. You know what? Actually, there's plenty of room left. Let's do the other two snack bags. 
and obviously if I'm packing this to go out uh, with the baby, I'm going to organize it a lot better than I am right now. And what else could we do? Let's put the, oh you know what, since I don't think this, it's not going to fit in the front pocket, might as well put it in the main compartment. Okay, so there you go. Let's close that up. There we go. And let's fill up the front pockets. We've got the bib, as well as the burp cloth. It should be able to fit up front. I'm just going to turn this to me for a moment. That's a pretty tight fit for both of those. I'm going to attempt to close the pocket. Uh, the pocket's not closing, but I might be able to shimmy it. One second. Let's see if I can work my magic. Like that. There we go. And then let's do the Count Count Pacifier pouch. We've got the stick rattle. So it looks like. Um, the BFF and the B-Hip fit approximately the same amount. Um, honestly, in the BFF, in the main compartment, I had very, very, very little room left. Um, and I'm, I'm sure that if you do pack up the B-Hip, you know, a lot more neatly than I'm doing, of course, you can fit um, maybe slightly a little more. So as far as capacity, it seems that both of these bags fit the same amount. You've got your BFF here and the B-Hip. The B-Hip is slightly lighter than the BFF. The B-Hip would be a great work bag for you. You can fit your laptop in there, you can fit your iPad and all those electronics that I'm completely out of the loop on. And you've got your BFF. The BFF will make a great, great diaper bag. It's also a convertible. So you can wear it messenger style, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, you can also use it as a backpack. Whereas the B-Hip is strictly messenger, but the BFF is slightly uh, heavier, well actually not slightly, I think it's about, I want to say maybe even a pound heavier, I'm not 100% sure, you can check the weights on the website, um, and I think that is basically it, hope you like it. Search Little Dudes and Divas and on YouTube, I'm sorry, on YouTube for more videos and have a great day.